Good evening to Dr. Bajit. Today we're going to discuss about vehicle engine. Vehicle engine or rotary engine is an internal combustion engine which uses the same principle of converting pressure into rotating motion but without the vibration and mechanical stress at high rotational speed of the piston engine. In contrast, the more common reciprocating piston design, the Wankel engine delivers advantage such as simplicity, smoothness, compactness, high revolution per minute and a high power to weight ratio primarily due to the fact that it's produced three power pulse rotor revolution compared to one per revolution in two stroke piston engine and one per two revolution in four stroke piston engine. The Wankel engine works in the same four stroke cycle as the reciprocating piston engine with the center rotor successfully executing the four processes of intake, compression, ignition and exhaust inside the trocar chamber. Hi, I'm going to talk about a component details on the rotary engine. First is the rotary. In a rotary, in a rotary engine, a triangular rotor is used. It has three co convex faces. Each faces act like a piston. The rotor works at the prime mover in the the rotary engine. The force directed by the combustion of fuel is directly exerted in the rotor. So it has rotated eccentrically. Next is the housing. The rotor speed is the oval shape, oval shape chamber known as housing. The function of housing is the same as the function of cylinder in the reciprocating engine. Housing contain inlet and outlet, inlet and outlet port and starter plug. The main housing close by the use of side housing. The side housing contains a fixed timing gear which bases with the internal timing gear and maintain correct relationship between rotor and eccentric shaft. Third is the eccentric shaft. Also known as the output shaft is used to convert the eccentric motion of the rotor into concentric motion and is carried up from the engine. Last but not least, is apex seal. All sides of triangular rotor work as the piston, so it is necessary to seal the entire chamber with a one another, which is this one. To fulfill this function, apex seal is used to each corner of rotor. It is a tight gas sealing between rotor and housing. Hi, of course we like to know how this machine working. In order to know how these things operate, we must know the basic working principle of the engine. There are four basic working principles of engine. First is intake. Second is compression. The third one is combustion. And the fourth, the last is exhaust. During the intake, the tip of rotor decreases in size and the compression of fuel and air mixture ready for ignition. Okay, the next step is ignition. As the chamber pass over the spark plugs, they fire to ignite the mixture. For your information, all the modern vehicle engines have two spark plugs to make sure the mixture burns evenly throughout the chamber. This cycle goes on in all three chambers simultaneously to produce power in continuous stream. For performance integration, we are going to talk about horsepower and specific fuel consumption out of Wankel engine. For an A power output, it can go up to 180 horsepower for RX8 Renesis model and up to 280 horsepower out of RX7 Turbo model. A typical Wankel engine can have 1.06 kW per kilogram per hour. We can reduce that, it uses way more fuel compared to reciprocating engine to produce that much horsepower. A Wankel engine have low torque due to short crankshaft throw, therefore they need to rotate much higher RPM to produce same amount of horsepower. We can see that a stock RX7 engine can rotate up to 8000 RPM to produce that much horsepower despite being a turbo engine. We can conclude that horsepower per displacement of Wankel is much higher compared to piston engine but it uses more fuel to achieve that. Hi, okay for the comparison for all of the engine, 
I divided into two. First, internal combustion engine, and second, external combustion engine. Okay, firstly, let me start to the internal combustion engine, which is Winkel engine. Uh, it is the internal combustion engine using the eccentric rotary design to convert pressure into rotating motion. The concept is the Winkel rotor housing are constantly heated at one side and cooled at the other side. Uh, the advantages is to the simplicity, smoothness, compactness, and high R RPM, which is a revolution per minute. Okay, for the auto engine, it is the internal combustion engine uh, designed with the four stroke engine with the low RPM and only fire every each other stroke due to the auto cycle. The auto engine was first invented by using the spark plug. For the diesel engine, it is the internal combustion engine which is the ignition of the fuel will injected to the combustion chamber. The diesel engine will be in the two stroke and also four stroke engine. Okay, for the steam engine, the system is when water is heated at high temperature with a boiler, it will drive the gas to expand it to turn the turbine to move the rotor so it will move the wheel to move the like a locomotive transportation okay for the hybrid engine it is the internal combustion engine that will drive the generator to turn on the electric motor so that the energy will save to the battery to move the car for the jet engine it is the internal combustion air breathing jet engine it is the fast moving jet that generate thrust by jet propulsion that's why the jet engine it produce the noisy sound this typically feature a rotating air compressor with the left power by a turbine with the leftover power providing thrust by propelling nozzle okay akmal i have a question what happen if apex seal is break so basically the fuel air charge explodes and mass of the force is not the direction of rotary wants to go when apex seal blows it comes detached from the rotor edge and spin around in the housing the seal cannot exit the rotor therefore the, the apex seal will spin around chewing up the housing akmal how rotary engines lubricate in a rotary engine the oil lubricate the eccentric shaft bearings, the thrust needle bearings and the rotor bearings similar to a crank and road bearing of a piston engine it also is injected into a combustion chambers to lubricate the apex seals, corner seals and side seals all of which helps to create the sealing mechanism the equivalent job of the piston rings it provides outstanding protection for the east shaft rotor bearings and thrust bearings and it is suitable for the all injections Hakim, how is a rotary engine different from a piston engine? Ok, unlike in a piston engine in which intake compression, combustion and exhaust happen in the same space a rotary engine relegates each of the disc four tests to separate areas of an oval shaped chamber separate by the corners of triangular rotor Rotor moves around a spirographic path and forms three distant volume of gas. Okay, okay. What is the advantages of the Wankel engine? Okay, the Wankel engine has a very few moving parts, far less than four stroke piston engine. This makes the design of the engine simpler and the engine reliable. The second one is it is approximately one over third of the size of the piston engine, delivering same power output. For the third one is able to reach higher revolution per minute than a piston engine. And the last one is Wacker engine weigh about one over third of the weight of the piston engine. Deliver same power output which means the Wacker engine is less weight than the piston engine. This lead to a, a higher power to weight ratio. Ayman, how can we increase the power output for Wacker engine? So firstly, we can tune the engine so that it can rotate up to much higher RPM. For example, a race 
rotary Wankel engine can rotate up to 11,000 RPM. Next, we can increase the amount of boost pressure so that we can pack more air into the rotating Wankel engine during the intake phase. Therefore, more fuel can be burned which produce much higher horsepower. The second question is, how can we improve the fuel consumption for Wankel engine especially when cruising at the freeway? This problem is down to the gear ratio. The engine was supposedly designed so that it will burn fuel at its efficient without having a ridiculous tolerance. For example, if you were to cruise at 110 km per hour at 3,500 RPM on a rotary, you can use different gear ratio so that it can bring down the RPM when cruising at such speed. Therefore, less gas is needed at low RPM. Aiman, what is the difference between two-stroke and Wankel engine? Okay, the difference between Wankel engine and two-stroke is two-stroke engine is, has no moving valve and the spark plug free each fine each time the piston hits the top of its cycle. A hole in the lower part of the cylinder wall lets in gas and air.